Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so, a couple days ago, we just ended the uh, Michigan tournament, which was Game is Forgiving. It happened on the uh, 21st to the 22nd, and it was being hosted by uh, Three Three Industries, Game is Forgiving, um, and I think that's about it. Maybe a other, couple other sponsors, but uh, for the main part, it was Three Three Industries hosting it on Twitch.tv slash Halo, and then Game is Forgiving doing all the production and all that stuff. So, um... Talking about the results after the tournament, um, I obviously made a video on my channel that was the predictions, and I will be the first to say that my predictions were completely wrong, and um, I should never make a prediction video ever again because this is the worst predictions I've ever made. Um, so uh, before we go with the results of what happened at the tournament, I just want to talk about what else was going on at the tournament. Um, there were going to be, a, well for those of you who don't know what Game is Forgiving is, um, it is a tournament organization that is ran by Gamers Outreach, um, and it's ran by Zach Wiggle, who is the CEO of not only uh, Gamers Forgiving, but um, I'm not sure actually if he is the CEO of Gamers Outreach. I know if he's not the CEO, he's definitely up there, like next to the CEO, maybe the one, one of the co-founders. Uh, but anyways, what they basically do is they build uh, carts for children in the hospitals um, because there's a lot of you know, patients, kids in hospitals that can't get out of bed and they're just going to be sitting there so you might as well, you know, distract their minds from whatever they're going through. If they have cancer, if they have, you know, something as minor as a broken leg, who knows what they have. Um, you know, you could just distract them with video games, which is the best distraction in my opinion. Um, so what they do is they build these carts, they put it, you know, they get a cart and they put a, you know, monitor or a TV um on top of a Xbox One or a PlayStation or whatever, and they hook some other stuff in. I don't know how the whole sequence goes, but they pretty much they build a sick ass, sexy looking cart. Um, it costs, it's very expensive to do, uh, which is why they do these tournaments to raise money. And it's just really for a good cause to help kids out um, when they're going through whatever treatment they're going through in hospitals. Um, so basically, their goal was to reach twenty five thousand dollars, and I believe when the tournament ended, they got close to seventy seventy thousand dollars. I'm not too sure. Maybe they even went over that. I know they were getting donations left and right. Not only and they and they had two different streams going. They had the um, Twitch on TV slash Halo uh, stream going, which was the actual tournament, and then they had the um, Gamers Outreach um, Twitch on Twitch on TV slash Gamers Outreach. Um, channel going and that's where Mr. Monopoly if you don't know who Mr. Monopoly is he is a um, very good speedrunner in the Halo Runs uh, community Halo Runs speedruns community and he was just pretty much on that channel uh, the whole entire time just talking about each and every Halo game and his experience with them and he was uh, doing a world record attempt on Halo 2 which is the game that he holds his world record in um, which is like an hour and 43 minutes beating Halo 2 on Legendary which is freaking just crazy to think about that um but i think uh, a lot he got a lot of donations on that channel um maybe just by him being on it or um i mean it was just it was very entertaining you know someone that's very knowledgeable about the game just talking about it you know we have tons of people always talking about the multiplayer and giving tips and tricks but we never have anybody talking about the campaign and you know nobody would really think that the campaign is a competitive you know game mode or whatever you want to call it but it actually is you know people compete to you know have the best times in beating the campaigns on easy normal heroic legendary and it's very you know after watching it for a good amount of time i've come to love it it's really awesome and it's just crazy to see some of these people do the things that they do just to you know make it to the world record or just you know kill they can kill like five minutes just by doing a simple well not really a simple trick but just one trick can kill so much time and it's just um Crazy how there's not more, there's not more, you know, spot, there's not a spotlight on this, um, thing, you know, because it's really impressive for these people to do this, but anyways, I'm rambling on now, um, I guess that's all I want to talk about, they had, I think they had, like, some Call of Duty tournament there, they had, they had, they had, uh, always somebody asking questions, they had Bravididinsky, who is the community manager for 3v3, talking with Miss Monopoly, um, but, but not only is it impressive that he can do some of these glitches, and different um, time skips that he can do um, these tricks but he can do it while just you know answering questions and it's just crazy it just like he's putting thousands and thousands of hours into these games and he can just do it with his eyes uh, blindfolded probably and one hand tied behind his back um, but anyways I'm just you know kissing his ass but he's really impressive um, you should definitely watch him 
I think his channel is like twitch.tv slash Mr. Monopoly or something like that. Um, because he's very, very, not only is he a good uh, Halo player, uh, but he's a very good streamer and an entertainer and he knows how to uh, please his audience. So, with all that being talked about, uh, it was an awesome tournament. I got to tune in for a good amount of time and um, I'm very surprised by how the placings went. Um, so, basically, we're going to be talking about the top eight. Um, well, right here, we're, I'm only looking at the top six because I'm looking on the uh, TeamBeyond.net website because they uh, did the article of um, the placings. And they only have the top six. I don't know why they only have the top six. Um, I guess it's not worth mentioning the seventh or eighth place, but I'm guessing the eighth place, uh, the seventh and eighth place team is Double Black and uh, Straight Ripping. Uh, they had a European team that won the wild card, uh, Team Vibe. I'm not sure how far they went, but I'm going to guess that Stray Rip and Noble Black are better than Team Vibe. Um, but anyways, because Halo players in the uh, United States of America have always been better than Europeans, I'm just saying. Uh, but anyways, uh, sixth place, we've got Elevate, 400 HCS points uh, awarded towards them. Um, I had them placing eighth in this tournament, so very um, good effort by them. We have a uh, Spartan the Dog, Shooter, Munoz, and Gabriel. I remember that Shooter um, is replacing Schaefer this tournament. They made a, a quick change before this tournament went on. They replaced Schaefer with Shooter. So uh, congratulations on those guys. Um, proving a couple people wrong, including myself. Um, fifth place is Denial Esports. They get 450 HAS points. I had them at second place, and I felt like they could have definitely taken this tournament. But... It just seemed like they weren't on the same page or something. I don't know what happened, but um, you have Cloud, Ryan, Noob, Chig, and Mick went on this team, and they definitely have so much potential, and it's just crazy that they got fifth place. Very disappointed, but, um, you know, I still feel like they could definitely win the championship. Now, uh, another surprise is fourth place, uh, Cloud9, 900 HTS points awarded to them. We've got Ninja, Victory X, Fear Itself, Hysteria. Um, you know, I thought that they were going to place, like, six, I think I had them or something like that. Um, but I did watch them beat Denial, and they um, beat them the way they played. It was really impressive. I think Ninja stepped it up. I know he went Neg 10 in one game, but he did uh, step it up um, a couple games, so congrats to him. Now, uh, I had Optic Halo placing 7th, and they got 3rd place with 1,400 HHS points and $1,000 uh, going to them. We have Flame Sword, Ace, Assault, and Contra. Big shout out to Contra. A lot of people were talking about him the whole entire tournament. How he was playing fantastic, and um, you know, congrats to him getting his name even more out there. Um, you know, I had them placing seventh, so got me looking stupid. Second place is Counterlogic Gaming with 2,000 HCS points and $3,000 uh, prize going to them. Thought they were going to win a tournament, but you know, second place, uh, not too bad. Ogre 2, Heinz, Snake White, and Riddle 2. And first place is going to be going to Evil Geniuses. They get 3,000 HCS points and $6,000 uh, in prize to them. Uh, Lethal, Roy, Lunchbox, and Snipedown. Um, wasn't too sure if they were going to win this tournament. I did have him placing third, because um, I had Denial placing second, CLG placing first, but um, Snipedown was picking faces off. I think in the last game, he got like a two for one that really propelled them to win that last game, and uh, for them to get the uh, tournament wins. So, you know, this was overall a very good tournament. Uh, they had $10,000 in cash, so the only, only the top three got paid out. Um, you don't want to spread it too thin, because then, you know, it's not really going to... Um, make more people want to come out to tournaments like this. So, uh, with a 6K for first, 3K for second, and 1K for uh, third, that's really good. And it's really about the points because people are trying to get you know the highest seed that they possibly can get into um, this tournament, this last tournament, which is going to be the championship of uh, season one, so they can get uh, the best bracket possible. Um, so, uh, anything else to add to this? Um, great tournament. Shout out to Lethal, Roy, Lunchbox, and Snipedown. Shout out to Lethal for um, really filling the shoes of uh, Pistola and showing that he definitely deserves to be on this team. Um, I remember in Halo 3 when I ran, in, ran into him a bunch of times in the Major League Gaming playlist and he was just an online kid and I think like his best placing at that time was 28th place and um, he really made a name for himself so congrats to him and you know this is just for us. It's been a very well run tournament in a while. The Iron Gaming Tournament was very run poorly. These online cups are ran poorly. Um, can't remember the last tournament that was ran very, very successfully. And I believe this is the first tournament that they had the um, rules set in place to where 
if uh, somebody lags out or something, then the game is not just going to reset. It's actually going to re it's, it's, it's going to start over from the point that was left off, which is how it should have always been since the beginning. But I'm glad that they got it right now. So this was definitely the best run tournament so far with uh, Halo 2 Anniversary. So congratulations to all teams. Congratulations to um, you know Gamers Outreach for getting all those donations and getting over their goal to make these cards for our kids and stuff. And I'm excited for the next tournament, which is going to be, one second, one second, one second, hold on, hold on, hold on guys, hold on, hold on. It is going to be March 6th, is going to be the HTS Season 1 of Finals, and that's going to be at PAX. So, I'm uh, really excited for that. I will make another prediction video, even though this one completely uh, sucked because I was completely wrong. So I'm going to try to do more research, try to um, have more logic. Um, behind my predictions so you know they'll hopefully be more accurate and I'll make a better predictions video um, as March 6 gets closer and it's actually really close so maybe in the next few days I'll make one um, and then COD Championship is going to be March 27th and then April 17th is going to be Iron Gaming Atlanta which is going to be the first event for season 2 of HCS uh, for Halo 2 anniversary so it's really cool that they're already getting the ball running on that and uh, just going to keep moving with Halo Halo even though it seems like it's dying it's still around we still got tournaments so um, you know, as long as C3 v 3 keeps still trying to work on this game and make it better and keep it good enough to play until Halo 5 and hopefully Halo 5 will be not as bad as everyone thinks it's going to be, then I think we're going to be pretty set, um, forward on, uh, propelling Halo Esports even farther, um, into esports in general, and I guess that's all I have to talk about, so if you guys like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, it's just an update, so, you know, it's not really anything... Uh, to get excited about, but um, congrats to them, because I'm sure a lot of you did tune in to watch the tournament, and if you didn't, you can just go to twitch.tv slash Halo and watch the rebroadcast, and I'm sure they're going to be up there, um, but other than that, I just got my loot crate, so I will be making a loot crate unboxing number 16, I think, in a couple days, so be on the lookout for that, and I'll catch you guys later, take it easy.